What is up guys, this is Rocket Gamer here with part 7 of Red Dead Redemption 2. In today's episode, we are going to be going into the town of Valentine and seeing what's there. So let's jump right into it. Chapter 2 Horseshoe Overlook couple of weeks later. Got That's off beautiful. the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Spot of black water in that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right, welcome back to part chapter two, everybody. <laughs> we finally got off that mountain, and now we're in in um horseshoe overlook that's what it was called yeah it's been a few weeks since i last recorded hello miss grimshaw you got everything you need miss grimshaw oh not by a long shot mr morgan we lost a lot move. we'll be back on our feet soon okay i'll catch you later then all right well, might as well just talk to a few people while we're at it Hi. Mm. Good morning. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. All right, well, I should be getting on. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. All right. Hello, Dutch. Good to see hey, you again. Dutch. Indeed. Well, I should get back to it. All right then. Contribute. Ooh, I don't have that much money, do I? Uh, is that thirteen in the um my bank or I don't know. Might as well contribute a few things. Why not? Uh, give an item. Can we eat soon, Pearson? Donate that. It'll be ready. Donate a rain. Why not? And I'll donate that ring. Perfect. All right, cool. That's good. Got some honor there. Nice. Hello, Hosea. All right, Hosea. Thankfully, yes. Good. Okay. Well, I mean, he did say he was gonna read a book, so might as well. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pearson. Hey, Pierce. Hey. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Well, know you're appreciated around here. I should do some work. Ooh. We could really use some uh, more meat, Mr. Morgan. Let's donate all of that. All that the fish. Quality, but and the fat. And then there we go. And then there Let's we go. Perfect. Now, that should be good enough for him. Crafting up upgrades. What do you mean by crafting Experience upgrades? What can you do here? Moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something Ooh, and you bring me the right materials. Leather working tools, fifty dollars for tithing box. Yeah, I don't think I really need that much. What is lodging? I could if I get a if I get a perfect ram carcass, maybe. Look at that. Perfect ox hide. I know where I can find ox, but jeez. 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't think John needs anything there. That's cool. Uh, Very I cool. I need to get my hands on some material. First. Hello, Herr Strauss. How are you? Good morning. Morning to you. Bet you never thought you'd end up here, huh? I didn't know where I'd end up. Oh, Strauss. Funny how things turn out. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. All right. Now, let's go... I think we talked to most of the people. Oh, how can we forget? <laughs> Hello, Kieran. Me some? Don't mess with me, please. What do you think of your new home? Let me go now, please. No can do. Yeah, I don't think so. You're not going anywhere, Kieran. <laughs> How'd they even get them here? What, they just like tie them up to a wagon and drag them along? I mean, I don't know. Alright. Hello, Uncle. Hey! Oh. <sighs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure, I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? Take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Yeah, I remember this mission. <laughs> we go into Valentine. Yeah. Valentine's a neat little town, I'll tell you that. Oh, I like the tree there. Yeah, thank you guys so much for the support I've been um, getting on the channel. Seriously. <laughs> it's been super helpful. The Michigan World War One video has um, 27 views. Part 1 has 18. I didn't expect it to get past 10, to be honest. Like, thank you guys so much for the support, and thank you, Algorithm. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Yeah. These ladies are spitting bars for sure. Oh, what happened? A horse. I'm in the horses. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got Very serious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Uncle. Haha. <laughs> Lumbago. Lumbago, my ass. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'll help him out, sure, why not? No problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. All right, here you go. Ooh. Let me study you. <laughs> I'll help out with the compendium. I know I'm not gonna get 100%, but if I could, that'd be cool. But that just takes way too much time. Easy. Easy. Calm down. Easy. Easy. You're okay. All right. Shall leave no horse unpadded. There, boy. There we go. All right. Now let's get you led up. Now let's get you led. Follow me. A big horse, jeez. <laughs> I 
It's a very beautiful game. Look at that view. Holy Christ. There you are, my good sir. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get back to that wagon. Come on, All right, back in town. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have oh, look at that coach. Well, I haven't I'm seen that in a, in a year yeah. because, you know, Red Dead Online doesn't have them yet. That'd be such a good DLC if they could. <laughs> well, if they put them in, you can easily <laughs> rob them, stuff like that. Or you'll fast travel. <laughs> <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. <laughs> Finally. Look at all that snow. Look at this town. Mountains. Sure don't want to be back it's an there. actual town for you once, you know? Not a mountain. Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> now this is a classic western line. town right here. Well, we can pick up some there, look at Arthur. this place. Forbid <laughs> you put your head on the line. Yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that the dog? That, though, oh, I need to pet the dog. Park up <laughs> down the end there, near the stables. Hello there, sir. Oh, caught me off guard right there. I mean, checkpoint. There we go. Cool. Oh no! Don't hit the dog. Stop. Horses. Right. <laughs> Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. I need to pet the dog. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Dog. Well, Where are you? Do any Hi, buddy. <laughs> Put the women to work. With pleasure. Good enough. <laughs> Guess I can't have the dog. He's not giving me the option. Out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right. I need to get something from the stores. Okay. Well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. Hello, hello. So, oh, shopkeeper. Yeah, we can sell stuff. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Yeah, I'm selling that. <laughs> Getting really awful. While we're here, plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Well, what do we need? Crackers? No, I'm not making that joke again, I promise you. Alright, let's buy this with a coffee. There we go. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Uh what do we got here? Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm I'm getting the carrots for um horsey. For the horse. What? can so I not buy anything? You're actually buying for There we go. You feel just buy that. Yoink. Buy one more. Perfect. All right. That should be enough for me. Yeah, all this stuff here, like chocolate. There's chocolate bars. There's candies. This place has got everything. Got the tobacco. Got the tobacco. That's six dollars. Jesus Christ. How much do I have? I think. I, yeah, I have like ten. So I'll be good. <laughs> all right.
Did Uncle just buy a Kentucky bourbon? Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there, New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Who's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Hey, what, what are you doing to Tilly? Nah, uh uh. Get your hands off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. I keep holding the gun for some reason. Or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away right with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Uncle! Look after her! I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder who that guy is. But, um... Alright. Let's go get Karen. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Alright, let's go get her. No trouble now, please! Alright. That's locked. Interesting. All reliable. Hey, how are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Come on. That's right. Oh, he just got just wrecked by that one by me. Jesus. Trying to play him. That's the one uppercut. Well. Thank okay. you. <laughs> All right. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and. But. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste Ooh, of time. Ooh, that's interesting. A bank a robbery. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank All you, right. Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! Oh. I don't like this. I mean, I wasn't in Blackwater. <laughs> I'm gonna go have a word with right. our friend. Be careful, Let's go get this guy. Just a word. Yeah. He probably needs, he needs to um, keep his mouth shut at times, or else he's gonna piss off the wrong people. Alright, let's go get him. Get back here, right now! Oh, I just ran over a chicken. <laughs> Out of my way. I must get this guy. <laughs> Man from Blackwater. That's all. That's what he's called. Ooh. You have to help me. Oh wait, he's still alive. Let's get him. 
All right, sir. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now, please pull me up. Please. Please. Eh, let's help him. Feel right. a little nice today. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. Ooh, a pen. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man. Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Cool, not, I got a Not pen. one lick. <laughs> not one cent. In this year old mind. <laughs> come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. All yeah. right. Yeah, the first time I did this, I actually oh, killed the guy. Girl. But, um, this time I felt like, oh, let's try it again. Maybe we'll get something out of it. All right, let's go return that horse. We don't need it. We got our own at Valentine. Hey, my horse. Here we go. Am I glad Boom. to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. See, I'm a man of my word. I always bring my stuff back when I borrow it.